Hey everyone, and welcome back to Crypto Whiteboard 101, the series in which I answer your most important cryptocurrency questions in less than two minutes. And today we are answering the question, what is a cryptocurrency key? Now, cryptocurrencies are not physical objects, and we can't just hand someone a Bitcoin or hand someone an Ethereum cryptocurrency. Rather, cryptocurrency works on the blockchain, and it uses a system of two addresses that are sometimes called keys to move value around on this digital blockchain. Now, your public key can be thought of an address, such as your mailing address. Anyone that has your public key or your public address, if you prefer to use that term, can send you funds. Now, as much as we want people to be able to send us money, we don't want people being able to take our money. And that's where the private key comes into play. The private key is used to send funds out of your account and transfer them to someone else. This can be thought of the key to getting in your house. Anyone can mail you a package to your house using your public key, but only you can get in your house and take things out using your private key. It's the exact same with cryptocurrencies. And the reason we need these keys is because we don't have a physical cryptocurrency. Rather, these keys are basically allowing us to unlock value that is stored on a specific location on the blockchain. And you're probably wondering, how does this actually work? How do I use my public or private key? Well, as you can tell from this image, a public key is actually a very long code, a string of numbers and digits. And it's not really practical to directly use your public or private key to move funds on the blockchain. Instead, people have developed wallets, which are software programs that manage both your public and private key and allow you to receive and send cryptocurrency very easily. Now, if you want to learn more about wallets, you'll have to turn into another video because in this video, we just did a quick summary of public and private keys and how they are used in cryptocurrency. I appreciate you watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.